Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be... A Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for July 22nd to July 28th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we're going to proceed straight away to the reading. So the first card which stands for the topic of uh, your week, Taurus, is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, the next one stands for the challenges uh, that you will have to overcome here. We do have the Devil card. Afterwards, it regards the next one regards to the positive aspect of the week. And this is going to be the Queen of Pentacles, the, the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress card. I'm sorry, guys. And then the, the last one, which stands for the um, for the guidance that Taro is offering to you, uh, we do have the Tree of Pentacles. So the four cards are with uh, the Earth sign, Earthly sign. So the week is going to reflect mainly to the material world of the matter. Or the way that I see these cards uh, this week is going to be extremely comforting. All right, and you are gonna feel blessed. Um, one way uh, that is one way how we can uh, describe the week. But let's run the cards down one more time before we scrutinize uh, the reading. So the first one once again is going to be the topic, and that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges here. That will be the Devil. The Empress card. It regards to the positive aspect, and then the last one here. Is going to be the tree of uh, pentacles and that is going to be the uh, guidance that Tara is offering to you. All right, so uh, ten of pentacles. Now that this card points that you are going to be surrounded with comfort and love and understanding and, and appreciation and as well support from everybody around you, your family, your husband or a wife, you know, your partner in romantic relationship, your co your colleagues and etc. etc. Therefore, uh, you are going to be much. Um, I mean, you are going to experience much less stress in case, you know, you're dealing with rather important and, and, and stressful tasks. The Ten of Pentacles is the card as well, pointing that uh, it is likely that you're going to make a very uh, good investment throughout the week. Now, investments doesn't have to be money. It could be as well investments in emotions, investments in, in time, with effort and etc, etc. And that whole thing will contribute toward your personal independence. So you will stop depending more and more on friends, families, you know, co-workers and etc, etc. Because even though they may help you with something, this help is going to be uh, more or less, you know, well, I would say more unconditional than before. So you will not have the obligation to repay back the favor. Therefore, your independence is uh, amplifies here now on a more practical level the ten of pentacles is um 
related to trust, okay? And with that narrative, the card may signify that throughout the week, Taurus, uh, someone who betrayed your trust may try to regain that trust that trust once again. And as by default, the Ten of Pentacles is a positive card. I kind of the card urges you to uh, to give them another chance. All right. The accompanied card here is going to be the Page of Swords. Formation is a passive enemies that we do have. So um, with with that combo, it is quite advisable here throughout the week not to provoke the universe, should I say that way. And uh, I don't know how to describe it really, but to associate yourself with uh, people that you don't know much about, all right? People that uh, their ideas and as well their, their, their standpoints highly differentiate from others and just because you are finding them interesting, uh, it should not be a prerequisite for you to, like I said, associate with yourself with them because this could severely ruin your comfortable standpoint here through arguments, disagreements, you know, uh, opposition as well and etc, etc. The point here with uh, these couple of cards is that all the support you need, you already have it. Uh, now that is a, another, mm, it's another case, are you taking full advantage of it? And that leads us to the next card, which is uh, the challenge. And we do have the devil and the challenge is to resist, all right? To resist abusing all this influence you're going to have around, um, in, upon excuse me or on top of everybody which is around you as we said you're going to be comfortable you're going to be surrounded by support by love and therefore people are going to feel how can i place it obligated to do something for you to 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 simply you know contribute for your well-being and with the devil the, with the devil in a challenging position uh there is a, a big chance that you can abuse this power not intentionally i would say but because you know people get um intoxicated by it uh, and without they even having the intentions you know to abuse such a um how do i place it here um such an opportunities all right to to make people do your bidding uh, again, you know, that could play out as a, a, a fateful event that you will have to deal with after. The point here with the devil is that every um, misuse of this, uh, of this influence that you're going to have throughout the week is going to have its consequences, all right? And uh, just because people are willing to do something for you, there is no point making them do it with no reason behind it whatsoever. In other words, you gotta be reasonable, you know, with all this, uh, with all this attention that you're gonna have. The accompanied card here is going to be the Tree of Swords uh, formation. It is a, a passive enemies once again, and with the Tree of Swords, actually, <clears throat> these cards rather speak more for revenge. Now, imagine this kind of scenario, right? So. Uh, you uh, are getting closer and closer with a person who did you wrong back in the days and now you do have the influence upon them, all right? Or you do have the means to alter their situation. And so with the devil, uh, with the devil in the tree of swords, you may really clinch to, 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 to this aggression and, and grudge that you are holding for them uh, from the past situations and abuse your power, you know, misuse it if you want to say it that way so you can... I would say return the favor, excuse me guys, it's not like returning the favor, but making them feel bad. And that will be even more amplified if we're talking about a person who is trying to win back your trust, all right? And you can make them, with these couple of cards, you can make them go through hell in order to, um, in order to earn your trust back. And that somehow comes into a challenging position, meaning that you will have to resist that, that temptation to um, make their life harder than it needs to be, if that makes sense. So on a positive aspect here, we do have the Empress card. So the Empress is another confirmation for extreme comfortability throughout the week, you know, where you're going to feel 
confident, where you're gonna feel with absence of pressure to do any kind of decision, you know, or to, or to simply do any kind of a risky move. Now with the Empress card, you are also going to approach any kind of a situation that may arise throughout the week with a huge amount of, of, of maturity, should I say it that way. And that amount of maturity is gonna make you realize, you know, that some decisions should not be rushed, but rather one should take one a di um, dying time to, uh, to think about it carefully so one can make the most well-found decision out of everything because more of everything else what you're going to realize throughout the week here is that you know your decisions and your actions are going to have consequences just like we said with the devil card and bitter or sweet you will have to deal with those consequences furthermore so the po the, the the grand scheme of the positive aspect here taurus is that you're going to have the time to think about what is going to be your next move and how you can place yourself in the most comfortable position when you are to make that move the accompanied card here, or the catalyst, is going to be the uh, Eight of Cups. <clears throat> the formation is a passive friends that we do have. So with this uh, particular uh, particular position, uh, I kind of counteracts the Devil and the Tree of Swords, because uh, that that um, that combination here points that you can find the how do you say it? the per the personal quality or the personal properties or well the personal attributes i don't know how to say it to forgive all right so you can find within yourself the strength to forgive and as well the strength to um to put the past behind that is the point of uh, this card uh, or or of this combination realizing that even though you succeed making this person's life harder than it needs to be in reality there is going to be nothing in there for it for you excuse me even the satisfaction is not going to be in present because you you aren't getting anything from it it's just you are making yourself suffer along with them you know i mean if you if you are going to forgive them or if you because uh, let's face it when someone approaches you and wants to be a part of your life once again you immediately have a clue in your mind are you going to allow that to happen or it is out of the question so just go with with, with your gut should i say it that way or go with this uh wishful thinking okay of course you have to take your time think about what is going to come out of it and how you are to do it okay but it's it doesn't mean that you will have to bully that person around or, or boss them around for in fact so um that leads us to the last card which is the guidance here guys and that will be the tree of pentacles so tree of pentacles speaks for critiques it speaks for uh, as well uh support through one's development and meaningful conversation which in this uh, follow-up, uh, it does point that you need to address the issue straight away and you need to, th to talk about the uncomfortable, um, how do you say it, the, the uncomfortable uh, aspects of the endeavor and the situation itself. Now, if we are following the example where someone wants to be a part of your life once again, instead of giving a silent treatment, you know, why things broke up at the first time, you know, or what you don't like in this person and try, try to see are, are they changed or not, you know, instead of trying to observe, it is best to address those things, you know, criticize them for what they were back in the days and see if that's no longer present, all right? And and everything in that kind of, of, of line, and even if they haven't changed much because something obstructed them, you, it will be advisable for you to, um, to support them through it. So a pretty, uh, a pretty morbid example that came to my mind right, right now. So let's say you had a, a boyfriend back in the days, all right? But that boyfriend abused substances. It doesn't have to be narcotics, you know, it could be, let's say, pain, pain relief drugs or, or psychedelics. And they have not found the strength to... Um, or they did, did not wish to quit back in the days, and this was the reason why you broke up, all right? Or why you broke up, 
back in the days. But now they are approaching you with the same amount, with the same kind of issue, but they don't find the strength to to quit on their own. So they need a pinnacle. They need like a, 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 a an island of safety here, which appears to be you. Okay, so th this is the card. This is what the card points that you need to try to help them through their development. If in case that's the case, or in many other cases, it could be that this person have been fired from job, they couldn't find job back in the day, so they were unwilling to find a job back in the day, so you were the one who pays the bills always, and that was uh, more than more than enough for you to break up with them, I mean, that was just the, 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 the cake in there, <clears throat> and so you broke up, but right now they are determined to find a job, it's just they don't see a reason why they should if they don't have you in your in their life, and that is a prerequisite for you to give them a another chance. Not unreasonable one though. The accompanied card here is going to be the Page of Pentacles, the uh, formation, it is a, a passive supporters. And now this card clinges, clinges more and more toward emotional development and emotional uh, foundation of all that. This person that comes around here trying to regain back your trust. And additionally to that, uh, this as a guidance is an advice, urges you not to devote anything into it unless it's a... Uh, something that promises long-term development. And how you will know that? Through research, through confrontation, through, through addressing uh, the situation with its true face and with its true name. Like I said, giving silent treatment, it's not gonna help anybody. And the less is gonna help you from all around you. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly tarot reading, July 22nd to July, uh, to July um, 28, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.